Any clothing in here? No, but we'll take that because I'm sure we're going to get a laceration at some point. And, oh, shit, that scared me. <laughs>Pois, remnants and stuff in this general vicinity, and see what kind of loot we can find today, uh, and get hopefully get water from sinks. Oh, you know what? I wanted to check this hydrant over here and see if it had re recharged. Uh, so let's get uh, our jars down here. It hasn't. Okay. So I'm not sure how this is supposed to work. Uh, do the, do these, th oh, I wonder if they're not recharging because I have, I don't have respawning loot on. I don't know, that doesn't, s hmm, I'm not sure if that governs that or not, actually. If it doesn't, that could be a bit of, that's probably gasoline in there. That could be a bit of a sticky wicket for us, couldn't it? Um, yeah, if you guys know in the comments... If respawning loot affects that, let me know, because if it does, I'm going to turn it back on. Otherwise, getting water is... I don't know how we're going to get water. Maybe later on, uh, we could probably build, like, our own sink and stuff, but we're not anywhere near close to being able to do that right now. Oh, that's pretty good stuff, actually. Uh, so we're going to need, yeah, to be able to get water. Uh, but anyway, let's go to the trader first before we do this stuff, um, and then maybe we'll take a second trip to the trader later. Uh, with some things we can sell to him, but I wanna, I, I wouldn't mind getting a l another can of food or two before we set out and do a, a bunch of looting here. So we'll try that first. Uh, it is 7:30 in the morning. Oh, we also have a skill point we got to look at too. Uh, so let's close that back up. What do you need? I need. You know, we should, we could. Should we take a job from this guy? Um, fetch at modular house. Yeah, I mean, let's do it, right? Oh, that's the greenhouse. Okay. We might as well start working on quests too, but that's not all we're going to do, of course. All right, let's go to inventories and uh, we're going to sell that. He doesn't want those, but he will buy that. Um, oh, I guess we needed to just sell a quantity to him. So that gave us 265. And you know what? Darn it. I, I ran that's off and right. do the math. forgot my other coin. Is there not anything different in here than there was the day before? Uh, all right, well, let's just buy that, I guess. 109 and 
Yeah, this will give us some food and water. Um, okay, yeah, well, I guess that's the best we can do at the moment. So let's go ahead and consume this. Uh, use. Okay. I keep somehow pinning something up there that I, I don't actually mean to pin up there. Uh, this is a repair bench. So does that mean... Oh, that's cool. We can repair... Oh, neat. So we can repair stuff and pay for it to get repaired. I like that. I like that idea. Um, this is a carpenter's table, but we already have our own carpenter's table, so we don't need that. What other workstations does he have here that actually work? I don't think there's any more. That's destroyed. Hey, will he buy this? It does have a sale price there. We've already looked inside of there. We've already checked the water pallet. We can't welcome, loot friend. that stuff. Hey, welcome, friend. How you doing, buddy? Uh, all right, here. Let's uh, see if he'll buy this oil shale. He did. Well, okay. We got 13 more coin. <laughs> yeah, yes, right? All right. Um, I think we've pretty much finished looting this place. Yeah, that's a chem chemistry bench. Beer barrels with nothing in it. All right. Let's head on out. So what we what we can do is uh, we can attempt this quest, which is over this way. But we're gonna kind of I I'm, maybe we'll hit this little modular house too while we're at it. Oh, and actually we cleared a sleeper out of here yesterday. I don't think I completely looted this room, or or did I? No, we left that. Those are all empty. I can pick these boxes up too um but i'm not you know i'm not too worried about that right now i just want to uh because we don't have a lot of space uh we'll be we'll be more concerned about you know getting stored set up and all that sort of thing when uh we have a more okay that's our second set of handlebars can i sell those Ooh, i can okay because we already have one set we're gonna hang on to those until we get the mechanics bench Some clay and a backpack up here. All right, nice, nice. We'll hang on to that. We're not going to use it right now. Uh, we already looted everything in here, right? Okay. Very good. Let's go check this. Uh... Here, let's check this. Okay, grab the lead. Nice. All right. Good, good, good. Uh, we're going to check this house here. In fact, yeah, let's just... Pop open this door and see what happens. Probably nothing good. All right. Oh, I actually want to do this for the moment. Is there a dog in this house? Zombos? Oh, I bet there's zombies in here. No? Is this really a zombo less house? I don't believe it. Uh, it doesn't look like we can fully block that, so let's not even try. Uh, well, actually, we could if we, if we do that, right? Okay. All right, well, let's loot in here. I'll bet you there's somebody back there. But let's loot in here first. Uh, not a whole lot there, is there? Yeah, I bet you there's somebody behind there. Okay, well, let's at least see if we can get... Uh, well, can we just look at that? Oh, yeah, it's got two charges. So we'll get a little bit of water here. And I'm going to take apart this because we get planks and nails and uh, leather. So let's do it. That'll give us plastic probably, right? Um, we're supposed to be able to pick up pick up lights. Yeah, look at that. Oh, that's cool. So if we set this down, uh, will it light up our base? We'll have to we'll have to experiment with that. I think it does. If it's probably if it's already lit in the world. I'm guessing. Okay, well, let's pick these up. 
We just need to be ready to get the heck out of Dodge. Can we... I'll bet you there's a zombie in there. Can we do this? No Zeke's in here? All right, more water sources. Except for these. Oh, look at that. Scrap shotgun. Nice. Um, do, Can we make this straight up or do we need a... What do we do with this? Crafted in research station two. Scrap in a dis assembly station it doesn't just give us paper oh it looks like it does um but do we get something different if we scrap it in the disassembly station i don't know okay let's look in the sink and we can't get water out of there but we can out of shower heads just not that particular shower head um here let's my let's pick up some more lights that is cool, man. I love that. <laughs> uh, can we pick this up? No way. Oh, that's cool. All right. Um. Okay. Let's go in here. There's no door for us. Okay, let's put that there for a second. How much you want to bet there's a Zeke in one of these closets? Okay. Seriously? Man, we should just move into here. There doesn't seem to be any zombies in this place. Not even a single one. Unless there's somebody somebody hiding behind that corner there. Okay, we got a bookcase with nothing in it. Yay! All right, what do we get if we take this apart? Oh. Pretty decent stuff. I don't have a wrench, so we'll just have to use this. Any clothing in here? No, but we'll take that because I'm sure we're going to get a laceration at some point. And, oh, shit! That scared me. <laughs> oh, my goodness. That scared the crap out of me. I, I, saw, I saw that guy down there, but I thought he was just a... It was a, a, a bag because I, I, I didn't look closely at it. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Somebody call 911. Oh, man, oh, man, that scared the hell out of me. <laughs> okay, well, that was our zombie in the house. That was our zombie in the house. Um, I mean, it's really cool that we can pick this stuff up. That that uh, that means we can do some pretty nifty stuff later on decoration-wise, but that's not a really high priority for us right now. So, oh, my goodness, that scared me. You know, the, the, <laughs> the frickin' terrarium there should have given it away, huh? Oh, my word. Okay, let's continue on. Man, oh, man, I got to wait for my blood pressure to come down here. Uh, what do we get if we take this apart? Probably cloth and more boards. Do we get nails? Yes, we do. Okay, taking furniture apart. Very good. I think Ravenhurst was that way, too, actually, now that I think about it. Uh, all right, so we already checked that stuff. Uh, we looked in here. Uh, I wonder if there's going to be a pooch inside of there. We have any food in here? No, we've got some charcoal. Anything in here? Nope. All right, let's uh. Oh. I think there might be maybe a sleeper right there. Okay. Can we? I don't know if that's a sleeper or just a corpse. What if we block that? No, I don't want that. Yeah, it's a sleeper. It's Jiggly! I need to try and get a, a bleed on her. Okay. Oh, no, that's not what I want to do. Man, I gotta get my finger memory 
straightened out here. I'm going to get myself killed. Hold still, Jiggly. Okay, she did. Whew. Uh, all right, let's see. I got some boards on me, so let's repair this so we can pick it back up. And uh, we will open this. Passing gas. Is it possible to find a whole bicycle on one inside of one of these? That'd be fantastic. Okay, there's the bicycle wheel. We will need that to make the bicycle, but we can't actually make it until we get a mechanics table. Uh, I gotta read up on actually how we do that. I can't remember how how do we make the crafting stations? What's that cloth sack? Oh, here workstations. Right. Okay. So to make a mechanics station, right here, we have to learn the mechanics table. Okay. In fact, none of these are unlocked for us, right? Except for the carpenter's table. Log table, maintenance workstation. Oh, yeah. Okay, so we could do a maintenance station and we could do a research station. Oh, it's a good thing we hung on to that book, huh? And then with the research station, I think we can research these tables if I remember right. So we'll have to look into that. We'll have to look into that. Oh, all right. So let's see here. Let's check this. Uh, Ranger's Guide to Archery, Volume 7. Successful sneak attacks with arrows have a 20% greater chance of knocking down the target. All right, nice. That'll come in handy. Okay, how's our inventory doing? We're about at half weight capacity, so we, at least we don't have to worry about slots like we do in the normal game. Let's just get rid of a couple things. We'll say, hang on to those because we can sell them. Uh, well, you know what? Our house is right here. Why don't we just go drop a few things off? And yeah, we'll do it that way. We will do it that way. Okay, so do this, and this is our resources box. We got oh nice, we got some scrap steel. We'll put that in there. Uh, we actually want to keep the stone with us. Anything else that's a resource? Yeah, coal would be a resource, and uh, paper kind of is, but I, I also consider paper a part. Uh, this is more, you know, oh, this is like food and medical, by the way. Maybe we'll put the sewing kit in there because it's sort of kind of like food and medical. All right, these are parts. Let's do that first. And then we're going to also add the book to that, uh, the oil. Let's take this out, put the oil in its place. And we got, uh, oh, let's boil some water too. And then we can make some um, boiled meat with this meat that we got wherever, however we got that. All right, let's put, like, armor stuff in here. Where is that? Yeah. We'll put armor stuff in there. And what else? We'll put household types of things in there. And money can go in there. Maybe vehicle parts. So let's grab those two things and this. This we could um, take one of those and go sell it at the trader. So let's keep that with us. Gunpowder is going to go down here. This, let's just put right... Storage here. We'll put it right there for now. That gives us a whole other box to store stuff in later as we need to. All right, let's sort this. And I think we want to keep... Oh, here, we'll put the sham sandwich in there. And I think we want to keep everything else with us for the moment. We don't need to actually carry that many nails with us, though. So, here, I'll just put the nails in, in here. Okay, so now what's the heaviest? Okay, so that's our heaviest item. So we're, we're pretty light. Uh, we're, we're only 32 at the, at the most, so that's not too bad. We don't, do we, I don't think we need to carry the shovel with us either. Um, here, let's put the shovel in here. So this could also become tools for now. Now, let's grab these. Let's make a couple of boiled meat. And, you know, actually, we're not in that bad of shape, especially once we throw back two more boiled meat. We're really not in that bad of shape. Okay, let's look at our point while we're waiting here. So 
What is the equivalent of like the master chef so I can make like the tea and stuff? I was actually looking for that and I couldn't find it in here. So intellect, machine guns, demolitions, batons, robotics, better barter, daring adventure, charismatic nature, salvage, lock picking, and drones. Fortitude, boom, brawler, pain tolerance, gift of life. What is this? Instantly gain five to your max. Oh, okay, that just gives you a health cap. Infiltrator. Da, 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 da. Field medic, what's that do? Ma healing items restore 10% more health over time. Okay, that's not bad. Um, why can't we do this though? Oh, because we need fortitude three. Interesting. Okay, well in vanilla, I think the master chef thing is in the strength tree, but it, I didn't see it in here. I was looking at these the other day. Sexy T would be good. Reduce melee weapon and tool stamina usage and power attack. Yeah, that would definitely be good. We probably will be getting that at some point. 69er and mother loader are good. But I don't see... We're pr we probably need... Okay, Animal Tracker, Huntsman. But yeah, I'm not seeing the food one. So I, I guess he took it out of here. So I don't know. Do we learn that stuff through just books or something? Animal Harvesting. Yeah, these are just skills that we get uh, as we use them, which I love. Absolutely love that. Okay, well, I'm not sure what to put our point in, actually. Um... What should we put it in? Oh, I guess we have an effective fortitude because it's green. That, okay, that explains that. Um, we could actually put one point in Gunslinger because we do have a pistol there. Uh, or we could go for, maybe later on, go for Skull Crusher. And that would get us, yeah, let's put a point in Strength because that's going to open up Skull Crusher. It's going to open up 69 or some of those. Okay, that's decided. Now, let's grab these two things. I'll put the fire out. Eat these. And we're actually in pretty darn good shape right now. Okay, let's put those in there. We'll wait till they accumulate before we sell to the trader. We might go back to the trader later today, so I'm going to keep those with us. And let's get going. Let's rock and roll. Okay, so our quest is is that way let's go let's move that direction this is the the greenhouse place and it's gonna have some zeke's in it but let's just kind of assess and see if it's something we want to take on because then we get all the the good stuff you know for uh, completing the quest if we can actually do it And this is a retrieve, so we don't necessarily have to kill everything in here either. Uh, that is locked. Okay, let's check this out. You know, we could... Uh, you know what I should have done is taken these doors down for the hinges and then restarted the quest. Didn't think about it. All right, let's wear that. No. I'd rather have cold resistance than heat resistance at this point, so we'll just scrap that. Check the dryer. There we go. Uh, so we have... These are tough... Oh, that's what was giving us the fortitude. Um... Hmm. Well, we're going to save these for Horde Knight for sure. So let's let's keep the Fortitude on now because I think that's going to serve us better uh, in the here and now. We've got one charge of water from that. And Sneaking Skill has improved. Okay, nice. All right. I've been in here before, but okay, there's a Steve Zombo. Steps outside. Here, before we do this, can I put this down here? Yes, I can. Okay. That didn't even wake him up. Oh, man, the accuracy with this is terrible. Okay. Come here, buddy. Actually, here, take the door down a little bit for us, and then we'll take it down the rest of the way and get some hinge action off of it. 
probably wait till we're done with the actual quest, though. Oh, you know what? This is taking too long. Uh, come here. I can't reach him. <laughs> there we go. Oh, that arrow did a pretty decent number on him. Okay. Uh, I guess we're going to probably want to keep this on our toolbar. So we can keep that stuff repaired. All right. I'm pretty darn sure there's more Zikaroos in here. Oh, uh, yeah, there's one right there. I'm trying to shoot him in the foot. Oh, actually, it'd be better to shoot him in the head, huh? Hi, Edgar. Oh, nice. Right in your face, dude. Right in your face. Okay, let's get this. Edgar's, uh, can be pretty tough. Well, what? That was hacks. Just bleed out, will you please? He hit us right through the board, man. That's just cheating. I'm, I'm just saying. That is total cheat. Okay. All right. Anybody else in here? Yep. There's uh, Bo the zombie right there. Do, 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 do. Edgar, get, get out of here. I need to wait for his body to vomitose. All right. Come here, Bo. Oh. <laughs> He's just about, he's just about ready to bleed out, isn't he? Yep, yeah, he did. Okay. Anybody else? Yep, there's Marlene down there. Uh, let's see. Let's at least get this door closed. It's like really sparkly in here. Come on, Bo. Go away. Nice. Nice. Seems like we do more more damage in uh, UDL than we do in vanilla. Because remember, I'm playing on insane difficulty. And it's not as easy to kill these guys in vanilla as it is seems to be here. Damn it, that's not what I wanted to do. Okay. Put that there. Anybody in here? Yeah, we got janitor. Janitor Billy right there. Uh let's try something with him. Let's let's turn close that door. Oh. Oh yeah. Let's go around the other way here. I want to see if I can get a nice solid headshot off on him. Get out of here. Okay, everybody be really quiet. Here, we're going to have to get this up too. Hey, you weren't supposed to wake up. Okay. Let's give him some pitchfork. Pitchfork sandwich. It's delicious. Would you like a little bit of mayo with your pitchfork sandwich? He did. Whew. Okay. Kafunk. <laughs> Uh, I think that's it. But we're down here. Um, we're supposed to go up. 
Well, here, let's check this room first. What time is it? It's, it's already 1.30 in the afternoon. Dang. Sounds like we might be getting the attention of somebody outside. Check the dresser. Okay, we'll take those cans for later. Here, we might as well take this apart. Get all the good stuff out of it. Man, I love this mod. It's just, I don't know, there's something about it that's it's different than other mods because I just like, it, it's, it's almost like subsistence in a way because all the resources, it's just fun to get the resources in. I know I'm not making sense, but... It is, man. Here, we'll we'll worry about the yucca fruit and the corn and all that stuff after we've cleared the place. Let's get the place cleared. We are going to take all the doors apart in here, too, when when it's all said and done, so we can... Oh, you know what? I have the free lockpicks back at the base. We might try that. Uh, okay, let's just open this up and see what happens. Do we have somebody in here? We do. We've got Darlene. Ooh, that hurt. Okay, come here, darling. Come at me, brah. She dead. All right. All right, I don't think we need to worry about them just yet. Make sure there's nobody there. All right, no charges in this sink. You know what actually I actually want to do? Just in case they do break through out in front, let's at least have those doors closed. All right, this is where Darlene was hiding out. All right, we'll take that stuff. Medicine cabinet. With a, uh, whatchamacallit in it. Nothing in the shower head. Okay, we'll check this. All right. And then up here. Now, do we have buzzards in this place? I hope not. Don't remember if there are. Yes, there is. Okay. Uh, let's make sure this is loaded because we're probably going to go straight to this if this doesn't kill the buzzard. Never mind. He's dead. Here, let's close that. Oh, there's a lot of zombos down there. All right, let's butcher him, get the feathers and stuff. Oh, shit! Where did you come from? No, 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 no. Where did he come from? Oh, this is not good. Oh! Oh! <laughs> he is deadly fast. Oh my goodness. Wow. <laughs> he was on me so fast. I can't believe it. Okay. Let's. Oh man. Okay. Um. Yeah, that sucks. <laughs> Holy crap. Okay. Oh. All right. Let's, uh, well, we failed the quest. That sucks. I don't even know where he came from, man. He was just there. Okay, we have no weapons on us. We're going to have to evade to get back to our stuff. Let's get some stone action going here. Oh, that was brutal, you guys. That was brutal. That guy is just absolutely frighteningly fast and of course we all know how he hits like a Mack truck and is hard to kill hey look there's a nitrate deposit okay we'll keep that in mind for mining purposes later on oh boy okay <laughs> uh. um is that yeah we don't want we don't want to attract the attention of any of these guys right now So, uh, whoops, 
Let's do this. Okay. Come around this way. We might as well, you know, at least finish in the house, though, because we've cleared most of it already. And uh, at the very least, I want to get to the fat loots at the end. We just have a lot of zombies around. Oh, my goodness. Okay, here. Okay, so we got that big group over there out of the way. There's someone right over here, though. Yeah, go down the street. There you go. Okay. Now, let's see, let's see if we can get to our stuff. This group's trying to come back this way. Yeah. Fire hydrant has a couple charges on it. Yeah, go that way, Marlene. Okay, we got our stuff back. Um, while we're here, let's grab these. There we go. <clears throat> okay, so... Yeah, I'm not sure what to do about that big old group of Zeeks there. But I'd like to get back into this house, at least get to the fat loots at the top. And uh, maybe, I, I don't know how Fatso got up there because I had, I closed the hatch and I didn't hear him breaking the hatch. Was he already, maybe he was already up there and I just didn't see him, actually, now that I think about it. Okay, let's try and stay as quiet as possible. Um, you know what? Let's take advantage of this sink while we can. Oh, it doesn't have any charges. How about a cooking grill? No, but you know what? We'll eat that. The coffee maker has no charges. Let's check the sink. I don't think I'm going to open the can garbage can right now. Those are really loud. Okay, well, I guess, like I said, maybe he was already up there and I just, I missed him. Because that's the only thing that makes sense. I, I can't see how he would have come up that ladder because we would have heard him try to break the hatch, you know? That really sucks. Okay. Let's put, at least put that there. Let's do this, too. Get out of here, you guys. Okay. Yeah, he must... Oh, well, no, the hatch is broken. He must have just one-shot it. Oh, okay. All right, well, I'll tell you what, then. Let's do this. Let's get rid of these bottom two rungs and then they can't get up here. Wow, he must have just <laughs> he must have just plowed through that hatch. That's uh uh that's a little bit um concerning con considering that right now we have hatches defending the entrance to our base. Yep, that's what he did. Wow. Okay. Is this the thing? Sure is. Now, are we going to have sleepy sleeps over here? Probably. I just don't remember. Maybe we... Oh, well, I don't see any. Nope. 
Nope, we're good. Okay. Oh, that's right. This is glass. Okay, we made it to the fat loots. We're not going to get credit for the quest, unfortunately, but at least we, you know, get this. Let's uh, take this right now. What did I just do? It, like, made a clicking noise. I don't know how I did that. Garbage down here. I uh, will take that. And look in here. Oh, nice. Fuel bricks. Okay, we'll take those. Now, can I... Ooh, look at that. Awesome. I love the lanterns in this game. They're relatively hard to... Uh... Okay. We'll take that. And a crossbow bolt and another mongrel. Is it any better than the one we have? It actually is. All right. Well, we'll switch them out then. We'll switch them out. All right. Let's try this guy. Maybe we'll get some more schematics in here. The last Mo Power one that we opened had some schematics. Yes. Powered Tier 3 Vault Door. Tech Junkie. Volume 7. Robotic Parts and a Junk Drone. Ooh, that's what we need to make, you guys. I love the drone in this game. We need a tier three workbench, though. Okay. Yeah, I think the research station is probably what the first thing we need to make. Because I, if I remember right, I think that's the path, you know, to get to the workstations. Unless you luck out and and actually find the schematic, which I believe you can do those, too. If I, I remember right. Okay, so I'd like to... I'd like to break the doors down, but man, with all the zombies around here, I don't know if that's a good idea or not. No, Steve, you were supposed to run the other way, you dumbass. And sorry, that's actually not Steve, that's businessman, but he's still a dumbass. All right, well, here, let's go back down here. All right, we got the attention of... See, we don't want to get this whole group on us. That's when we're going to get in trouble. Okay, this needs to be repaired. Let's put that there. Okay, here, let's take this door down. I want those hinges. Come here, come here, businessman whose name is not Steve. Don't you break this door, it's my door. Oh shit. Can't reach him. There we go. This pitchfork actually isn't super, super impressive. Let's get uh, this back on our toolbar. go grab a couple more doors Are you guys busting through there yet it's just you hold still lady
Whoops. Yeah, it's really hard to hit her. I don't think I'm going to be able to reach her from there. Okay, you know what? Let's just put another thing there. What time is it? Man, it's already 5 o'clock. Okay, that door is pretty well secured. Let's get this one. Yeah, that, that Hawaii Five O's, oh, the fat guy. That's just downright frightening, man. <laughs> That's so frightening. With how fast he can move and how hard he can hit, we are going to really need to watch out for him. We, we need to treat him with the same respect that we treat the biker, if not even more so. Okay, let's grab some of this fruit. Looks like that other block is still holding in there a little bit longer. Grab a little bit of corn. All of this stuff here. And I think that's it. I think that's going to be about all we're going to get out of here right now. Okay, well, um, it's too bad, you know, that we died, A, <laughs> and B, we didn't get the quest done, but at least we got the end loot, you know, and we got some hinges. How many hinges did we get out of the deal? Nine, okay. That's enough for us to make our uh, a couple more hatches, though. We don't really need to now because I did something different with that setup. And, uh, yeah, I think we're going to have to wrap up today's episode because uh, we are we're going a little bit long here. Let's hit a couple cars on the way back to the base before I let you guys go. Maybe we'll find something really good, like a hinge, because the hinges are really good. Does this have any charges? It does. It's got two charges. Fantastic. Let's grab this. So I think our, uh, the next, our next priority is going to be to... Uh, get a research station going, but in order to do that, here, let's look at that. Well, here, let's get out of the middle of the street um, before we do that. Let's get business guy out of the way. Let's see what's in this car. Okay, goldenrod seed, another pitchfork, and... I guess, yeah, I guess we'll take that. Um, yeah, so the the thing we're going to need for that is uh, five books. And so far, we've only found one book. But once we can get that research table, you know, then we can start researching the other benches. Uh, either that or we luck out, you know, and we, and we find the schematic for them. Uh in some loot. Let's run out this way. Just kind of avoid those Zeeks right now. We're still not really in a position where we can start just going head to head with them at will. We, w we will be soon. Just not quite there yet. A police baton. Okay. Why don't we... Get a bleed going on you and just kind of poke you in the head a little bit. Okay. He did. There's another iron nose, so that's good to know. All right. Yeah. So, guys, I'm going to let you go here and I'm going to spend the rest of today. Uh, just gathering more resources as usual. And uh, 
we will figure out what we're going to do tomorrow. Not exactly sure yet what that will be, but we'll figure it out. Um, we do have to start thinking about what we're going to do for Horde Night 2. Uh, that's definitely not going to take place here. Oh, you know what I'm going to actually do with those hinges? I'm going to put some trap doors here, too, because that door's not going to last if we get a, a major attack. So, yeah, uh, we will figure out what's going to happen tomorrow, and I guess that's it. <laughs> so, thanks, guys, for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment and share out the video, and we'll catch you in the next episode. Bye-bye.